My name is Ms. Berry Lupendo uh, from East Assembly Njiru. Um, I am welcoming you to our service today. Uh, I hope that the Lord blesses you and welcome. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, worship team, for that beautiful and wonderful time of praise. May the Lord continue blessing you and blessing all of us as we share in this service today. Challenges come and challenges are here with us. But we thank God because throughout the challenges, if we trust in God, he is a God who gives us victory. This day, as you listen to me, allow me to share with you that we need to have hope in God. Our reading is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 42, verses 5 and 6. And I read, why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan, the heights of Hermon, from the Mount Misa. Father, we thank you because of this word. We pray that it will reach to us and minister to our hearts. Let the sick be healed. Let the discouraged be encouraged. And let the hand of God touch us as we share in Jesus' name. As I said earlier, unrelenting challenges usually get people depressed. And I pray that even during this season, that you will not be depressed. This thing is here. It is here with us, and we don't know what to do. When one gets depressed, reasoning and rationale does not make anything, any meaning, anywhere. I want you to know that every Christian is a saved sinner. And we always wrestle, we always fight, we always are struggling to maintain our hope in God. The reason is that we are sinners. It's only that we have been saved and washed by the blood of Jesus. And I want to believe you who is listening to me, you are a Christian. Where we have read in the book of Psalms, verse number 5, the psalmist is experiencing the same challenges, just like we are experiencing. He says that his soul is downcast. He is disturbed from within. And because of this, he turns around and answers himself. He says, put your hope in God. Praise him because he is your savior and your God. Biblical hope not only desires something good for the future, 
but it expects that something to happen. I want to believe that our future is bright. I want to believe that our future is good. And for sure, that is going to happen in Jesus' name. If you don't hope in God, you will not have power to go through life challenges. And you may sink into what I'm calling self-pity. The present COVID-19 curfews, lockdowns, cessations, they can be very, very depressing. But hope says there is light at the end of the tunnel. Hope says this will also come to pass. Hope says that God is on the throne and he is fighting for us. As we traverse this season that is threatening everything around the globe and even in our nation, we need God to lift up our heads. We need God to lift up our hearts. We need God to lift up our hands. We need God to lift up our spirits. Why should we hope in God? We need to hope in God because hope moves us forward. Hope will move you forward. Christian hope is an a realistic expectation. Why? Because it is based on God's word. Our hope is based on God's word. It is not hope, it is not based on hallucination. It is not based on just education. It is based on God's word. And God's word is sure. God's word will never, never fail you. The more we long for the future, the less we focus on the past and even the present. Hope will give us the momentum to keep on going. And I pray that as you listen to this word, may your momentum not stagnate, but keep on moving on. Hope in the God, in the Lord. Why should we hope in God? Because hope will energize your present. It is true that this present looks bad. With the COVID-19, there are no jobs. People are losing jobs. The economy is going down day by day. The numbers of the infected is rising by day. Floods all over. The invasion of locusts. Things are happening that we don't know what we are going to do. We can only look up to the mountains. Where our help comes from, the help comes from God. So when we hope in God, this hope will energize our present. Whatever challenge you are going through, may you be energized in Jesus' name. Whatever challenge that you are going through, may the Lord lift you up. May the Lord turn around that present and make it even better to the glory of the kingdom of God. Why should we hope in God? Because hope lightens our darkness. Hope does not deny or it does not remove the reality of darkness or the painful occurrences. There is a lot of pain right now. Families are going through pain. Men are going through pain. Women are going through pain. There is a lot of challenge. We don't know what to do. The psalmist says, when you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, hope tells you, fear not, for the Lord is with you. Hope tells you, I will strengthen you. I will be with you in this fire. I will be with you in this torrent. I will lift you up. I will encourage you. I'll stand together with you. This darkness, it may become darker, but God will lighten that darkness. Hope in God. Why should we hope in God? Because hope 
increases our faith. Oh my God, I thank God I'm a child of God. I thank God I'm a believer. I thank God I am a child of God. When we hope in God, our faith will definitely be increased. Remember, we are men of faith. We are women of faith. The Bible shares and tells us in the book of Acts chapter number 27, verse 20 through verse number 25, about, about Paul. Now, Paul was sailing to Rome. After they had left Crete, they were faced with a hurricane. It was a storm. Their lives were in danger. Their lives were almost coming to a standstill. They did not know what to do. The storm was threatening. And remember in verse 20 through 25, Paul stands and he tells them, I wish you listened to me. I wish you listened to the advice that I had given to you. I had told you that we should not leave, but we left. But now listen to me. No one among us is going to perish. That is what Paul says. Paul stands up in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the hurricane, in the midst of the challenge. He tells the people who are sailing with him, none of you is going to perish. I dare you today, I want to tell you that as we go through this difficult time, some of us will be infected, some of us are affected already, but irrespective of the challenge, you are spirit your hope is in the Lord because when you are in the Lord you will be encouraged God will stand together with you I don't know what you have lost I don't know even some may have lost their lives they may have gone to be with the Lord Paul tells us in the book of Corinthians that to be with God is more desirable than just being here. And as Christians, we don't even fear death because when, when we die, the Lord transitions us to glory. Therefore, the challenges that we are going through, even if it means putting us down to death, we will hope in God because we will not perish. Christians don't perish even if they die. Children of God, don't perish. We may be put down, but there is victory. We may be put down, but joy is on the other side. We may be put down, but we are not losing hope. This hope strengthens our faith. And I pray that as we go through COVID-19, may your faith begin to rise. May your faith begin to rise. May your faith be increased. May your faith be lifted. May your faith be lifted. Hope will increase our faith. Paul tells these people, none of you will perish. And for sure, the boat that they were using, it got perished. They lost their luggage. But none of them perished. They got to the shore. I want to tell us, we are going to get to the shore in Jesus' name. May the sweet God minister to you. May he strengthen you from inside, outside, so that your hope will be powerful. Your hope will strengthen you. Your hope will lift you. God is faithful. Now this morning, as we share this word, if you are not a child of God, it is difficult for you to cultivate this hope. But when you are in Christ, your hope will be lifted. Your hope will be encouraged. Your hope will be strengthened. And as it's being strengthened, you will be much better than you began.
hope in God. David says, Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why are you so disturbed within me? Put your hope in the God. I know these challenges are disturbing us. We don't know where the next meal will come from. We don't know where the rain will come from. We don't know what next. But let hope carry us through in Jesus' name. I want us to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you because of your word this day. Lord, we are disturbed from within. We look like we are discouraged. We don't know what tomorrow holds. Every time we go to our television sets, the numbers are increasing and increasing. Yet, Lord, we know that you are on the throne and you are reigning. Father, this morning, I want to pray for new strength. I want to pray that we will be encouraged to hope in you, for you are God. And if there is anybody out there listening to me and is not born again, I want you to repeat this prayer after me as we conclude this service. Dear Lord, I come to you. I am a sinner. I beg for your grace and mercy. Wash me, cleanse me, sanctify me. Lord, I surrender my life to you today. And I welcome you to come in. I welcome you so that you may be my God. From today, I want to walk with you. I want to rejoice with you. Come and make a habitation in me. I thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. And for the rest of us, maybe your hope is going down. Father, I thank you because of your people. I pray that you'll renew their strength. You will help all of us to hope in you for the glory of your name. Receive all the praise, for we pray this in Jesus' name. May God bless you, and may God lift you. And stay encouraged, because God is faithful. Thank you.